Uganda is a naturally lush and fertile country that lost 37% of its forest cover between 1990 and 2010. Firewood and charcoal are the fuels for most of its 33 million people. And these people face a challenge. The prices of basic foods like maize and beans have risen by about 50% since 2008. Now a Ugandan company is making a business of tackling these two problems with a single solution, which is saving households money. Inflation in Uganda has risen to over 14% this year, raising food and fuel prices and leading to civil unrest. For the past two weeks people have been rioting because sugar has gone up. Sugar was at one dollar, it's now four dollars. At a time when all other prices are rising, these fuel-efficient stoves, called Yuga stoves, are cutting people's energy costs. When you're using Uganda stove manufacturer's stove, you can really save on the money you spend on charcoal so that you can divert it either to buy sugar or other necessities. I only use a little charcoal nowadays. When I was using the ordinary stove, I had to use twice as much. These stoves not only make economic sense for households, but they also make environmental sense for the country. Uganda's population growth is one of the highest in the world, according to the UN. This booming population needs fuel wood to cook, and in Uganda, this comes at the expense of its trees. 90% of the people depend on uh, fuel wood, or fuel wood derivatives like charcoal for their energy. The rate of growth of the trees, especially indigenous trees, is very slow. Once the trees are cut and the area is dry, the soil has gone, so it's a big threat here. Biomass accounts for 98% of all Uganda's energy consumption, according to government figures, and charcoal use is growing at a rate of 6% a year. <laughs> I cut down the trees, then collect them into a pile and burn them into charcoal in order to get money. It's difficult these days to get enough trees to make charcoal as the whole area has been cleared. We try to leave a few to protect the environment. But local attempts at management are ad hoc and ineffective as there are no realistic alternative fuels. In the rural areas there is no other option. In urban areas there is of course urging that people should use uh, electricity and gas. We are having a shortage of electricity in the country. So it's not sufficient, even if you want to use it. Then it is expensive. Gas is the main alternative. It's picking up in Uganda, but of course, us here being a landlocked country, you rely on transportation. We don't have pipelines for gas. It would be a lie to say that in Uganda, we are going to move away to another form of energy. If we can improve energy efficiency in the use of the charcoal, we can create a big positive impact on the environment. That's when uh, efficient charcoal stoves come in. Yuga stoves are made by Ugandan stove manufacturers with fuel efficiency in mind. The heat-retaining clay stove liners are the key innovation that gives Yuga stoves the edge over their competitors. A production line is essential to the efficiency of their manufacturing process. In this factory, it's a chain kind of production. We found that chain production is the only way we can improve the quality of a stove. The fire chamber's air inlets are positioned for maximum burning efficiency, while the liner retains heat. The other ordinary stove is not insulative. Around 80% goes away without going to the saucepan, but the energy saving stove, since it's insulative from the bottom part, the side, and then the upper one, you find that it is around 20% heat loss. Most of the, 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 the heat is coming to the saucepan. Nanyunja Mariam is one of the 2,500 people switching to Yuga stoves every month. It's better to buy this one, even if it is expensive, because it is long last. It's easier to use it if you are inside in the house. You don't get hot. The demand for Yuga stoves means full-time employment for 60 people. I've been working here for five years. I need a lot of money so that I can support my family. I have no support from anywhere. Even produced in such volumes, the stoves cost significantly more to make than the standard ones. 
and the environmental benefits are pointless if the stoves are too expensive to be bought in the thousands by ordinary Ugandans. So to make the business work, Uganda stove manufacturers takes advantage of international carbon financing. Yuga Stoves claims that each stove saves an average of one ton of carbon emissions every year. But to qualify for carbon credits, this needs verification by independent assessors. So we go to the house and basically we're interested in the difference between the consumption on the old stove and now with the new stove. If the household switches to using the Yuga stove only, the fuel saving is 50%. So the information is used by the Yuga stove project in calculating the emissions reduction. Then that is translated into a carbon credit that Yuga stove project can sell and get money, usually to subsidize the stove so that many people can be able to acquire the stove and hence, you know, saving on the environment. It takes a year for the carbon credits to come through. But Yuga Stove says the delay is covered by higher profit margins on larger cookers for schools and restaurants. Because of the fuel savings they can make, restaurant owners are particularly keen. It is not expensive. Because the firewood which we are using, it's very little. And the charcoal which we are using, it's also very little. The efficiency means the stove cooks food faster with the same amount of fuel, and it burns more cleanly with less smoke. Before we cook for almost five, six hours, but now we can use, we can use four hours, three hours. The fuel-efficient design is not only for cooking, but can even be used in incinerators, where it means much cleaner burning of waste. <laughs> After we put the waste inside, we light it here, and there is enough fire to burn the waste. There are bricks inside that keep it hot, so it remains burning for up to six hours. The broad range of applications means the company has set its sights on further expansion. We have a big plan for the, uh, for the business. I've bought another land to do another project because the demand for the stove is really high and the space we are having now is very small compared to the demand. So I think within the next few years, we'll be able to construct another production company somewhere. The growth of this business is not down to luck, but due to hard-working Ugandan entrepreneurs, as well as a homegrown approach to marketing. This behind me is just a sales promotion that we use on creating publicity for the company. It works very well, um, because the, the buying habits of Ugandans is mostly erased by the music. According to research, we found out that whenever you add their music, the microphones tell people what is on the van, people end up buying more than if you had just a car with a product. We have covered almost 85% of Uganda. In Uganda, Yugastov is a market leader. It's an eco-friendly product, but this is not niche marketing to a tree-hugging elite. Thanks to clear benefits and carbon subsidies, it's a mass market success. Why is winning World Challenge so important for Yuga Stove? Uh, the rest of the world will see uh, Uganda uh, or East Africa, the contribution is making towards uh, conserving the environment. If we win World Challenge with the $10,000, it will be a big opportunity for Uganda stove manufacturers because it will boost our production and teach the people from other countries, far from Uganda, the advantages of the stove. World Challenge gives each finalist a chance to say why their project deserves to be a winner. People should vote for Uganda Stove because it's a very good product. It saves charcoal by 50%. And since the cost of living in Uganda is too high, at least people can save that money to buy other needs. And also it reduces the amount of carbon produced and less trees will be cut. This product is environmentally friendly and socially a very excellent project. So people should vote for Uganda Stop.